Greetings, nerds and geeks of the internet. My name's Ruscio, and I'm your stream medic. Today's topic, creating an animated alert for your live stream. Let's begin. Making your own alerts requires a certain amount of artistic skill. Today we'll be working in Photoshop, but if your doodles don't exceed that of your average stick figure, then uh, I, well, I, luckily, I'll be uh, offering this alert for public use. Just follow the link below um, to my Discord, um, and I'll have it set there for uh, for download, and you'll be able to just plop it into Muxy, um, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that later in a, in a later video. You'll need to download the WebM uh, plugin for After Effects or for Premiere, I guess technically is what it's listed as. Um, in order to make the um, the PNGs that we're making here animated, you need to save it as a WebM file. So in order to do that, just follow the. Um, I'll, I placed a link in the doodad below um, for the plugin. So you just click follow the link, um, install it. Uh, I think today what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do pretty quick and easy alert of my kitty cat Mr. Oliver all right so we just got to do a little hold on I didn't mean to click that get out of here I'm gonna plop this to blue I always do my sketches in blue um, I'll probably uh, we'll do like a, a sped up montage sequence and uh, we'll get back to the instructions after I finish this doodle Okay, now that we have the outline, the sketch of our little Oliver here, um, we'll, we're gonna copy it. And then, uh, cause we, you, for an animation, you want more than one frame. I think we're probably gonna have him do like a little hell, head tilt de um, dealio and probably wag his tail a little bit. Um, we're probably, well, I think we're just gonna do like two frames. Um, and that's really all you need for a simple um, animation just to get you started. And uh, then after we do the, um, after we save both files, uh, we'll color them both, save them both as PNGs, and then import them into After Effects.
I'm gonna go ahead and color the other one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the two PNGs completed. I've saved them both as uh, separate PNG files. So I've saved both frames as separate PNG files with their uh, lines and their colors um, together. Um, so now I have two separate pictures. Now, just the disclaimer, this is not going to be a full After Effects tutorial. I'm going, this um, guide is going to be under the assumption you know a little bit about After Effects. Um, if you're confused about anything, feel free to leave a comment um, below asking me what you would like to elaborate on and I might do a future video on that topic. I do read every comment and I will get back to you. Um, so let's go ahead and plop these in. So let's go ahead and click Oliver. Um, Oliver 2 here is what I saved it as. That's going to be the first frame. All right. And now Oliver 1 is going to be the second frame. So let's go, uh, go ahead and take this one and move it uh, down to, we'll have that frame start at two seconds. That's going to be 60 frames. Um, bring uh, the first frame down and that's going to be just past um, two, uh, no, two seconds. So the way we do, the, the reason why we're doing that is we're going to blend it in. So right here, we got four ears. We don't want four ears. Uh, what we're gonna do is stop right here. Um, we just do that. Got bam, just like that. So um, if we you put it right next to each other, you won't have to. But what I was gonna do is we could change the opa uh, the opacity um, so that it has a little blend transition there. But honestly, I don't think we need to do that for this one. Um, if we had more frames, that'd be something you'd want to do. And how you do that is you go over here. Um, you click on the frame you want to edit, go down to transform, uh, click the time stop for opacity, uh, make sure it's at 100% or the opacity you would like, and then go here and then drop that down to zero. All right, you just scroll it down to zero, and that way it will, um, and you can click it and drag the frames, it will fade in and out as you would like. Okay, so let's go ahead and control Z that beast so you don't have to worry about that anymore. And just like that, it's like pretty easy, self-explanatory, even if you had n no idea what to do in After Effects. It's a quick little seven second um, animation here. Uh, if you would like to um, ha do something fancy with him, like um, have him pop up out of the bottom of the alert, um, you can just bring him down like this. Click on uh, the position, kind of how we did the opacity. So you're know, locking his position, position in place on this first frame. Bring this up to uh, say 10 frames or so. Um, and then click this here, or, like move him where you want him to first. And then that will automatically go. But this makes it so that at 10 frames, you see there, he's got another timestamp. Um, that's another frame right there. And then bam, he just comes right up and then just like so so he kind of like juggles a little bit right there it's because i didn't really line it up as i'm not interested in doing it that way so we're going to control z get that back down and that way he's just going to stay right there and get the cute little wag in the in the head tilt i like it i like it just like that um so uh let's have a little recap of what we've done today um we have uh talked about webm um, and how to get the plugin. We have um, drawn on Photoshop Oliver in two frames. I'll, uh, make sh um, if you would like any customized graphics um, other than this one, which will be provided in the Discord, um, just contact me and uh, we'll talk about uh, what type of uh, um, what type of graphic you will need and how hard that would be to make it two three frames super easy and once you get higher than that it gets a little tedious so we'll um we can talk about that later contact me in facebook or discord um links in the doodad um if you would like to uh see me actually creating this stuff live i do do creative uh streams on twitch so just twitch.tv slash ruscio um i do play a lot of video games too so like sea of thieves um, I'm gonna be playing um, uh, Fortnite later tonight. I uh, usually stream towards the uh, in the, the a.m. toward to the after, through the afternoon, so like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, like Eastern time. So hopefully I will see you there. Um, 
Well, there you have it, guys. Quick and easy stream alert for Muxy Streamlabs or whatever you'll be using. Um, yeah, so uh, click the doodad so you don't miss the next video, and I'll have a more, um, well, I'll have a video that gets more into how to put this into Muxy, and I will be using Muxy at the time. So you could probably do the same thing in Streamlabs, but it's not going to be as easy and transferable. Uh, well, the CSS and the HTML is so easy to use in Muxy. So easy. We'll get into that next video. Until then, I'll see you later on the interwebs. Peace.